nice puppet, Auntie B. Thanks, Cormac, but I'm not a really good puppeteer yet. That's why I'm doing lots of practice. Well, I was hoping you could spare some time and tell me how our brain works. Hmm, let me think. Aha! Your brain is like a really good puppeteer. Because just like a puppeteer controls a puppet, your brain is controlling you all the time. Like making your eyes blink, making your arms move, everything. How about juggling? Especially juggling. But I don't have any strings like a puppet. So how does my brain control me? Messages! Sorry, Auntie V. Your brain controls you using messages. They're zipping around between your brain and the rest of your body all the time. Stand back there. Catch. Well done you, or I should say, well done your brain. So what did my brain do there? When I threw you the ball, your eyes sent a message to your brain saying, there's a ball coming. Then your brain sent a message to your hand saying, catch that ball, and you caught it. I did not know that. Thanks, brain. Hey, I think it's time for a brilliant body fact. Brilliant body fact. Yeah! Did you know messages travel between your brain and your body super fast? Some travel more than 400 kilometers per hour. That's faster than a racing car. Right, I need to get my hands on a brain. My brain? Not yours, Tony's. Oh, you. Now, do you want me to take my glasses off for you? <coughs> oh, it isn't there. Now, where did I leave that? Aha, I remember, yes, here it is. Now, your brain has lots of different parts to help control different things. So what's this part for? Oh, that part is in charge of thinking. And this part? Helps you move. And this part? Ah, uh, that's the part that helps you to remember things. So that's the part that helped you remember where you left Tony's brain. Correct! You're so brainy, Auntie B.